Hello, another blog post here. Uh, so a lot of stuff has been building up here. Uh, so I have to go through a few things uh, to get my projects moving along. So first thing, uh, the last three episodes of Anything Arduino has been about this robot. Uh, and uh, if you haven't seen those, those are re pretty cool to make a Arduino bumper robot. Um, so I have this friend who's uh, a teacher in electronics and also has his own laser cutting firm. So when he saw this, he immediately started working on uh, an, a laser cut acrylic panel for, the, for this robot. And uh, so he sent me a couple of those, including wheels and a small... Uh, uh, foot to, to put on the back. Well, yeah, sliding instead of a, a caster, just a piece of acrylic, like this. I can take it off like this. Uh, so uh, the cool thing about this is that the bumpers are built in. If you can see here, so there's a small hole for the micro switch, and then an indention there to make it flexible like this so all you need to do is glue your electronics in place and the robot is done and of course I've done this here so here's the robot with all the three episodes of stuff building up on it uh, connected so just by adding the switch and adding it with glue like this I, I push the pins out a bit. It's it's a bit fragile, but you can push it out a bit. So very good sensitivity. And also the wheels. Uh, this one, the holes were a bit big on this one, but he is going to send me a couple of new wheels with the correct hole size, which means that I don't even need to use glue here, which is great. Also, uh, on this one, I put on some splicing tape, uh, kind of this, it's very, it's a very rubbery kind of tape, kind of like electric tape, but very flexible and uh, rubbery. So you just pull it and, and round it uh, around for about uh, one or two or three uh, rotations I don't know the words for that um, and uh, it get, it's re a really good grip so this was a very good uh, idea uh, and also I'm going to put this on this one as well because the the hot glue it was good for a while but then it actually it just gets stiff and it doesn't there's no traction anymore not like this one so uh, I'll show you at the end of the video, I'll have this in action. Um, this one wasn't a good idea because this one gets stuck on everything. So actually you need a caster or something that is, a, because when, when it turns, this one gets stuck on everything. So I have to fix that. What's next? Oh yeah. To, uh, if you've seen the, I made an episode where I made a paper Duino. Uh, in the end, I used the electronics, uh, electronic uh, ink pen, and uh, that came from the Circuit Scribe uh, kit that I pledged for on Kickstarter. I'm not going to use this anymore. I wanted to make a paper Duino. I've done that, so because of this, I'm going to give this away. So this is a giveaway. Um, what you'll get is... Uh, maybe we should start with what you have to do. You have to like this video, you have to subscribe to my channel, and I want a comment in the comments uh, field with what you want to do with this. Because 
I want to know if you have a project that you want to try out or if you want to teach electronics with this to your local school or something like that. Whatever you want to do, just let me know and uh, I'll pick one of you and send this to you anywhere in the world free of charge. I'll pay for shipping and everything just so everyone has a fair chance of getting this. Um, so what you'll get is of course the circuit scribe pen and this whole uh, kit of stuff. So there's some jumper stickers here. You'll get this uh, workbook which is uh, I have done a bit of drawing in it, but not too much, and all, most of all the, the the projects in this book is I haven't done anything with, so it's free for you to try it out, and also you learn what all the modules are for. And here's the the metallic plate that you put if you want to do something you put it in here and then you just add your electronic switches and stuff so you'll get that you'll get the stencil for when drawing out with the pen what you want to do and then you get loads and loads and loads of modules so this is the maker kit so there's quite a lot of modules here I'm not going to go through them all. You can go to CircuitScribe's homepage to try it out. Uh, you'll get a few small components. And yeah, let's put the pen back. And also, there's more rotation knobs, everything, blinker, loads of fun electronics that you can do with just this pen and paper stuff. So that's the giveaway. Also I'm going to try to send with you a piece of 9703 uh, tape because that way you can uh, incorporate uh, SMD chips and stuff like that in your project with this pen so and I think like 10-15 centimeters I'm going to try to make a small roll of if I can you'll get it and hopefully it will work so whoever wins this giveaway will get a circuit scribe and a few a small piece of 9703 uh, conductive tape Right, so what's next? I, I guess I buy quite a lot of stuff from eBay, as you know, um, and um, I thought uh, I'll make a box and save it all for just uh, one of my vlogs to go through uh, so you will know what's in the pipeline. However, my box, because it took so long, my box grew to a pile. So, so we have a saying in Sweden to go over the bridge to fetch water. And I did one of those things because I wanted to have a silhouette uh, drawing or knife uh, cutting machine for a while. They're quite expensive though, uh, and well, I just have a few things I want to try with it, so I'm not sure it's worth all that money. Um, then I saw on YouTube this guy who who 3D printed a a cutting knife to put on his uh, CNC machine. So I have the make uh, the Makesmith CNC machine standing right there. You can't see it, but it's there. And I thought, yeah, I could make one of these that he did and uh, put on my CNC machine and I would have a, a cutter. So then I followed his instructions. I bought uh, the, 
the files for five dollars and I needed to buy some uh, ball bearings for that to work so I bought uh, this is the kind that you should use for about eight dollars so a total of thirteen dollars and then I thought why not buy a silhouette knife and put on my Maker Smith uh, CNC machine. So this one cost around ten dollars. So this is actually cheaper to get a really good cutting knife direct that is actually made for this uh, instead of having to buy all that, all the things I did, and then have to build one, which actually wasn't that good if you compare it to the real thing. So that's what I've done. So now I have a bunch of ball bearings I don't know what I'm going to do with, but I have one of these, so I, someday I'm going to try this one on the Make Smith CNC, and hopefully that will work. Good. I have bought a, a solar panel. Uh, this is going to... I'm going to use that with the robot once again to see if it's possible to make the robot solar powered so it can go outside in the sun uh, for a without a battery. We'll see, we'll come to that. Uh, I don't think I've shown you this one. This is the cake board, uh, breadboard, also a Kickstarter that I pledged for. So it's quite cool because all the holes are through, all the way through. So you put it in on one end and the pins stick out on the other end. That as such isn't that good for anything, but it is good if you, because you can place uh, components from both sides. So you actually get a two-sided breadboard to work with which is really great to, to not have to use as many cables and stuff what's also good about this is that there is no spacing between the the rows of pins so you can you can use you can you can use uh, components that doesn't have that spacing uh, that usually other breadboards have like this one for example so if you if you have a whatever if you have one of those bluetooth modules or ESP8266 they are four pins that is just very close to each other. Using these boards you can just get everything connected. Interesting, I haven't used them yet. We'll see if I'll find a good use for them. An uh, EL wire, I don't know why I bought that. So this one, let's see what this was. This was one some kind of uh, sensor that senses um, current or voltage. I'm not sure what this was. Uh, just found it, bought it, see if I can do anything with it. Arduino. Oh yeah, so this is a an LCD screen with a touch functionality so this one I thought I'm going to make a small touch panel to maybe control some lights in the house or something just gonna I wanna try to see if it's easy to work with and so that is a project that is coming My robot is taking all my DuPont cables in, out of, uh, or into action. So I bought a whole bunch of, 
of uh, the pond cables. All, all different functions. LED faucet. Wanted to try that out. It shows which it shows green, no blue when it's cold, red when it's hot water, and green when it's lukewarm or something. Now, so I have this little project I want to do with my kids. Uh, we talk about robotics. These are a little. It's fun to play with. It's not so easy to build these with my small kids. So I thought I'm going to make a few bristle bots with my kids. So I bought loads of these uh, vibrating motors, these small kinds, and this other kind. So these are just two kinds of, of uh, vibrating motors for my bristle bot project. There's also batteries for the bristle bot project and you can't have bristle bots without eyes so I bought a whole bag of eyes very important I actually think I bought two bags of eyes oh, find that in a bit here's a Kickstarter I completely forgot about uh, a couple of years ago this guy made these small, small uh, boards that are for touch sensitivity. So I haven't tried them out. Um, I am going to try them out in a future project now that I found them. I don't know, this bag was left somewhere. So actually hasn't come in mail right now. It just came into play again. This is a big, just, I don't know why I bought this, uh, what is this, some kind of uh, belt, I'm sure why I bought that, some more batteries for the bristle bot, here's another uh, RFID uh, sensor. can't open it so let's see doesn't say anything about what the name of it it's another sensor another uh, frequency actually so I want to try this one and I also have some of these tags that you can find on uh, boxes and stuff like that to see if this is the correct uh, frequency for these tags And then we have an, a sensor for uh, IR sensor that uh, these are used for uh, line following robots. So, and with that said, I guess you can figure out that we are going to do a line following robot project. And we have a few more. I think I have five. Yep, five of these to make a line following robot. An LED dot matrix. Um, this will be another project that we're probably going to do with a 595 to, uh, to make either images or something with this matrix. Also, it is uh, SMD, so we have to do a bit of SMD soldering. Not something I've done that much before, so that will be a challenge. We have a MIDI shield for the Arduino. So we're going to try and play a bit of MIDI channels, making MIDI is a musical instrument digital interface, that's what it's short for. Uh, so we can, with this module, we can uh, play around with 
synthesizers and computers using this uh, the MIDI interface. So that will be interesting. And let's see what's this. This is an MP3 player. So this one you can actually open. So I don't know what we're going to do with this. Maybe connect it to the Arduino and see if we can control um, play music and stuff like that with the Arduino or use this to give speech to an Arduino or something. I have a lot of them in this box. Here's a gas sensor module. We're going to go through that. Oh look, another IR. Line following robot sensor. Here is a, I believe this is a tilt sensor that we are going to, yep, tilt sensor. It, it shakes, there's something moving about in there, that's why I listen. So we're gonna try this one out in an episode. Here's a 16 channel m analog MUX. Uh, so it's one, I think it's uh, you get one analog signal in and you can route it to 16 channels out, which could be fun for something. Haven't figured that one out yet. Here's a cool one. Tiny Circuits, another Kickstarter project I backed. So when we talk about really small Arduinos, they had a Kickstarter for the tiny screen. That is actually what I uh, pledged for. Uh, so if you look at this one, you can see, you can make a watch, you can make a really small um, game pad, you can make a Google Glass kind of thing, and uh, yeah. So in, in the kit I got so here's the USB interface, really tiny like two by two centimeters or something. There's the tiny shield joystick, uh, the micro SD adapter, uh, and on the back side there, there's these stacking headers, so you can stack all of these really tiny modules on top of each other. Here's a Bluetooth module, so you can, if you get a if you want to make a, a smartwatch like they have here, you can connect it to your phone. Here's um, so here's the actual Arduino, the tiny board Arduino with with uh, the connection to a small lithium battery that you connect here. You have a small self-sustaining little Arduino in this size. Really cool. And here is the actual tiny screen. So you can see it in the bubble wrap here. So here's a, it's an OLED display that they've done. I also, I've also, I think I've gone, gone through that before, I also have a lot of no-name OLED displays that I'm going to try out in a episode sooner or later. So let's put that to the side. Ah, right. So, more googly eyes for the, for the bristle bots.
and here is actually another this is not an mp3 player this is the mp3 shield which might be better for our projects uh, with uh, with uh, if we want to give our Arduino talkative uh, things and all right so these are headers that I am going to use uh, to get my discovery uh, paste extruder uh, to give it correct uh, connections to uh, to interface with my Maki box so that's actually it I've emptied the inbox great uh, let's see a few things that came that fell out so another uh, cake board this is also a fun feature that it is actually uh, dimensioned after Lego and you get a few of these small pieces and these holes are Lego sized so you can actually use if you if you're one of those that use Lego for the construction uh, around your Arduino or electronic project you can use the cake board to place it inside your Lego structures so, got a few of these there uh, these are just for connecting LED stri stripes or strips and this one is the the solar charger board for the solar charger panel there have I forgotten anything where's my chip list this is actually it so now I can organize all this and get a few new projects on the road so don't forget to subscribe like and comment on this video and you will get your or you will have the chance to get a circuit scribe box uh, maker edition 17 pieces and uh, yeah until next time take care bye